Hi guys, I'm Ryan, and in this video, we're gonna go over sigma notation. Okay, so if you're in any of the IB Math courses, you're gonna need to know this. Okay, and um, so last in the last video, in the last 1.2 video, we talked about some series, right? Um, arithmetic series in specific. Okay, so um, in the IB, um, when we're talking about arithmetic series, okay, when we talk about arithmetic series, as in we're adding up some uh, a group of numbers okay um, another way of writing this so 3 plus 5 plus 7 we can we know that this is an arithmetic series because it's adding to every single time right um, instead of writing it like this they might write it like this for you okay and what we call this is 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 a sigma notation okay so it, it's important to know that the IB won't give you any questions specifically asking you about sigma notation however they will give you questions related to arithmetic series that is written in the form of a sigma notation so that's why you need to know what this means okay so let's break it down whenever we see this symbol this is the sigma symbol okay with this symbol it comes with four key components you must have a variable to sub okay they must give you a letter here and then there'll be an equal sign here and then there must be a number here this is a starting number okay and there must be an ending number up here okay and then in this in this area here we have something I call the formula okay so in the formula um, the variable to sub must exist okay so this letter this variable here must exist in somewhere in this formula okay now what does this whole thing mean well you see this formula right it means this formula is repeated every single time in the addition okay and what you do is you subbing in the starting number into the formula so that's why we have two times one plus one okay and then we need to add the formula again this is the formula again however we are subbing in two okay so as you can see the starting number we start at the starting number here okay and then we end at the ending number and then every single time we add we go one two three four five six so on and so forth until ten okay so this orange number always increases by one okay if this is starting at one then this will be one two three four uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and so on if this is starting at two and if this was at two right if this was a two and this is a ten then we start at two three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, does that make sense? So, what that's me. So, after writing this out, we can simplify it to this because two times one is two times one is two plus one is three. So we have this, and then two times two plus one is five, and so on and so forth. And then we get the answer of one forty. Okay. So important. Remember that instead of writing this, the IB might write this in the question to make you do it, to make you do an arithmetic series. So you need to understand how to do how to how to understand. Uh, you must understand how to recognize the sigma notation. Okay. So now moving on, we have a more complicated example. Okay, so how would you rewrite this into uh, something simpler, right? Like something we're more familiar with. Well, as we can see, this is my formula here, right? Formula, okay? And this is slightly trickier because we see two letters here, right? So, so how do we tackle this? Well, very simple. We have to look at the variable to sub, right? This is my variable to sub. I see with my eyes that this is the letter A, meaning we only need to care about this letter A in the formula. Okay, the starting number is one, ending number is four. So what does that mean? So we copy the formula down. We copy the formula down, right, B. And then whenever we see A, we sub it in, we sub in the starting number. So we got one and then plus one, and that is the first chunk. And then we need to add, right? And then again, copy the formula. And whenever we see A, we replace it with the next number, right? So we're starting at one and then we're ending at four. The numbers go up by one every single time. So it's gonna be one, two, and then three, so three plus one, and then four. Okay, so like that. So what this simplifies to is two B plus three B plus four B plus five B. So your final answer will be 14 B. Okay, and so that's it for the sigma notation. It's pretty simple. Um, you just need to know how, how to read the sigma notation and know what it means, and that's it. Okay, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for more updates in the future. Thank you.